So this is a quick video on how to use the Forge Viewer on mobile. Uh, it's uh, iOS and Android development with Xamarin. Uh, it's done with C Sharp. So in my name is Augusto Gonçalves. So uh, let's do it. Uh, we just have the Xamarin Studio here. Uh, that's the iOS version. And just to make life easier, I already started the, uh, the emulator on the iOS emulator on my machine just to save some time. So let's come back to Xamarin and, and new solution. And I'm going to select app, forms app, that's the uh, cross-platform option, one of those. And uh, here's the language. And next, uh, I have developer our desk.com and I'm going to call it this one for his viewer. Android and iOS. You can use Xamarin if you want, but just a very quick sample. Let's hit next. Okay, no changes here, just hit create. And uh, okay, so uh, we have the uh, cross platform uh, code Android and iOS versions. For the uh, Android version, we need to go back to, uh, we need to go to us, to properties, go to Android uh, manifest, and select the internet option. Internet. On the iOS, we also have to enable that on the P list inform options here. Uh, but the easiest way is to go to the source and edit manually. But uh, it's also not 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 easy to do it here. So let's uh, open this on Finder and uh, edit on a text editor. And uh, well, we can enable just a few websites, but in this case, I want to enable every site that I want, that I want to open any kind of sites, uh, just because there are resources for the viewer coming from different locations. So let's enable any kind of source. That's it. Let's go back to our code here. That's the uh, generic that applies to both. So we have the forgeviewer.cs, that's the entry point. And let's me create, let's create a new uh, folder that I'm calling pages. That's basically the name they we use on uh, Xamarin. And that will be viewer page. That's a form content, new. Okay, so now we have the form. So instead of uh, content equals new, uh, stacked layout let's say this is a web view and uh, the source will be a web page that we have where we have the viewer so you can put point to different locations but let me point to one that I know that I have a, a I have a model and uh, yeah, that's it. Let's select iOS, debug the version of the iOS. That's the one that I have here. Open it. Uh, I just did it before because it, it takes a lot of time to launch the emulator. So that's why I launched it before. So let's just wait a moment. <coughs> it's installing on the emulator and it's launching. Oh, okay, sorry, I missed one piece. Oh, yeah, we have to go back to the application and uh, let's get rid of this and say, okay, start the viewer page. And that's a new. That way, uh, when the application application uh, launch, it's going to open the view page. I mean, there are many different ways of uh, making this connection. Uh, it's, this is a very, very basic one just to show, yeah, it is possible. Okay, so as this uh, model was hosted on, on A360, it's just you know, asking me uh, because I used the A360 model, but you see it's loading uh, and it's launching uh, the viewer. Just wait a moment because uh, it's loading uh, some additional files. As, as I mentioned, we, this is loaded from many, many different locations. And we can navigate. <coughs> Okay, so if we come back here, we can also select Android 
and uh, select an emulator. Uh, but I did some research on the web and could not find uh, a way to make this work. Apparently, the Android emulator is not supporting WebGL as of as of now. But uh, if you have a different way of deploying, uh, this is this will this should work on a device. Uh, that's the main recommendation they have to deploy uh, Android WebGL on device instead of the emulator. And that's it. Thank you.